Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover containerizing a fast API app using Docker. I already have a basic Hello World API from my previous video that I'll be reusing here. So the first thing we need to do is to create a Docker file. In here we specify the base Python image to build from. I'm using Python 3.9 Slim. I'm using the slim version, which only contains the minimal packages needed to run Python, just to keep the size down. This makes Python available to us on the container, so we can install our requirements with pip and run our code using Python. The next step is to copy over our source folder into app source. If you're using a different directory name, you'll have to make that change here. We then copy over our requirements.txt file so that can be used. Now we need to set the working directory for the container. With that done, we can install our dependencies. So we pip install dash r requirements.txt. Next, we expose the port the app will run on. I'm using the default port 8000. Change this here if you need to. And finally, we set the command to run when the container starts. In this case, we're going to run uvicon and pass it several options. Source.main colon app is the entry point for our app. Source is the directory name I've used. Main is the name of the file and app is the name of the fast API app in the code. If you've changed any of these values in your code, update them here. Next, we have set the host to all zeros. This makes the application available on our local network. And finally, I've set the reload option on the container. This is so that I can make a change to the code and see it reflected without having to restart the container. Now you can build the image using the docker build command. I'm tagging mine as fastapi hello world and giving it the version 0.1. Once that's done, we can run the container using docker run, binding the port 8000 on the container to port 8000 on our machine. I've also given the container a name so we can interact with it later without using the container ID and then I specify the tag from the build command. Now if we call our endpoint we can see the API is running and returns our message and in the terminal output from the container you can confirm that. One last thing to note with fast API at the current version is that if you run this container it will fail to exit if you try to close it using control C. This is due to an issue with the reload argument. A bug in Uvicon causes that to mess with the interrupt signal, so it doesn't stop this way. Instead, you can use the docker kill command, passing in the name given in the run command, in my case my-api, and that will kill the container. If you were to run this in a docker compose instead, that would automatically close the container after the default time period of 10 seconds. And that's it. You've now got a Hello World API using Fast API running in a Docker container. Hopefully this has been useful and hopefully it highlights how easy it is to get going with Fast API and Docker. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful as I'll be making more videos diving deeper into Fast API as well as covering other frameworks and other languages. If anything was unclear, please drop a comment below and I'll try to help out or check out the GitHub link in the description. Thanks for watching.